right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go right into the game loop. So let's start by creating a couple constants that we're going to use um, in our game loop. So let's go ahead and do private static final int millis per second. And let's do private static final int nanos per second. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's do private static final double number num ticks. And let's do 60.0 for this. So to explain what these constants represent, so this one on the top is milliseconds per second. So how many milliseconds are there in a second? And this one below is how many nanoseconds there are in a second. And this one right here is the number of ticks. Um, by ticks, I mean the number of game updates uh, we want per second. So this is going to be 60 updates or 60 ticks per second. Okay, next, let's get into the, the main game loop. So for that, um, we're going to start by creating a couple variables. So long last time system dot nano time and then double amount of ticks equals our number of ticks and then double an S is equal to nanos per second over the amount of ticks and then let's have a double sorry let's just create some space down here and then let's have a double for delta which equals zero um, along for timer, which equals system dot current times in milliseconds, and then an int for frames, and an int for updates. And we're going to have a while loop, and we're going to pass in that running variable um, that we created earlier. And at the very end of this, we're going to um, call our stop. OK, so just to briefly explain some of these variables. Um, so frames and updates, they hold the number of frames. Um, they're counters for the number of frames. And then this updates is a counter for the number of um, ticks or updates, and we're going to use that in this while loop. Um, we're going to also need um, some time variables to keep track of uh, you know, how much time has passed between different, iter um, different iterations of the loop. So that's what this timer and this last time and this delta variable represent. Um, and then this ns variable represents um, sort of like the nano, um, the number of nanoseconds um, per tick. So um, yeah, so that's what these variables represent. And inside this while loop, we're going to be calling two methods mainly um, one is going to be to one, one is going to be tick which is to update everything so our game states and um, our player states and our um, it, it controls all the game logic and then we'll have another function called render that controls all the the rendering um, or everything that shows up on the screen that you see um so yeah so let's start writing our game loop 
So we have a, another variable called long, uh, a now that's a long. And we'll do nano time. And then we'll have delta equal to now minus last time by nanoseconds. We'll have last time equal to now. And then we will do while delta is greater than or equal to one, we're going to call our tick method and we're going to update, we're going to increment this update variable and um, reset our delta. Um, and then we'll have our code to render in here. And in here, we will display, um, we'll display the frames and the update, or the, the ticks. So we'll do current time minus timer is greater than milliseconds per sec. So if uh, one second has passed basically, then we're going to do timer plus equals milliseconds per second. And then we're going to output oops, print line. Um, and let's do FPS plus frames plus um, ticks per second plus updates. And in here, we'll reset our updates to zero and our frames to zero. Um, and this should be updates from this. Okay, so to explain this, um, now that everything's written out, so first this render um, is wrapped in this if statement just for um, potential bugs. We don't want to render if we're not running. Um, so we'll wrap it in this if statement and we'll basically render every time we iterate through this while loop. Um, we'll only be ticking once this delta is greater than equal greater than or equal to one. Um, and delta is initialized to this variable. And basically, when delta gets to the value of one, then it's going to be one tick. So delta is going to be some value between like zero and it, it could go over one, but it'll be around like zero to one. And it'll keep incrementing and incrementing. And then once it gets to one, that'll represent one tick. And it will call this tick method. Um, and then I'll update the game. And these like, now variables and these last time variables um, sort of just keep track of, um, I guess, the amount of time that's been passed or the amount of time that passed um, over the course of several iterations to this while loop. And this right here is just for us to be able to view um, our FPS and our ticks per second. Um, and so let us go ahead and implement these methods and then we'll try run the, um, try run the game that we have so far, just so that you can see the output of the frames per second and the ticks per second. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we'll create those functions down here. So we'll do private void tick. And we'll do a private void render. And for now, we'll keep those empty. Um, but this is where a lot of our code for updating and um, updating the game state and generating the 
um, the UI or what you see on the screen, um, the logic for that goes. So let's go ahead and save this um, by typing control S and then running this Java application just to see what we have so far. Okay, so it looks like our FPS is not changing. So I think that's because we have a small bug in here. Um, right, so we're not updating the frames anywhere. So we have to have a frames plus plus. So let's see that. Um, and I guess it doesn't matter if it's inside here or not, but we'll keep it all together so it makes sense. So every time we render, then we increment the number of frames. So let's go ahead and save that and run it. Okay, cool. So now you see the frames here and the ticks per second. So the frames per second or the FPS is super fast right now because we're not putting any threshold on it and we don't have a lot of code in here right now, but as we add more code, the FPS will drop um, significantly. The ticks per second, it's at 60 as we would expect because we um, we initialize that in our constants up here. So we want the number of ticks to be 60. So you can change that to whatever value you want for your game um, and for whatever suits whatever suits your your computer. So if your computer can run faster, then feel free to increment or increase that value. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I know this video, there wasn't really a lot that happened. You're just seeing this FPS and this ticks per seconds on the screen. Um, but don't worry, the the game will come along and um, once we start generating some of the, the user input and the game logic and the, um, and the UI, things will start looking a lot cooler. So just bear through the first few episodes um, where we sort of just build the, the core code that pretty much any game needs to run. Um, but yeah, that's enough rambling for today. Um, please remember to, um, or yes, please like and subscribe. Um, let's try to get 100 likes this video. Um, that really helps me. Um, it motivates me to continue making these videos and to, to continue along with this tutorial. So. Um, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to add them in the comments below um, and either me or someone else um, some other viewer will will try to help you there so yeah so that's it for this video thanks for tuning in see you next time